Hey everyone, it's Ariolan. We're back to another episode of Ariolan's Heart Rate Gaming. We're back to Isle Heroes, and I know I'm behind a week. Ah, things get crazy again, of course. But we have the new event, um, and also some updates that we're gonna go over. But let's just jump in. Um, first off, they have the comeback radio. <laughs> I guess they're losing a lot of people because now they're trying to give us rewards to get people to come back. Um, yeah, so there's like bond quests, and they give some pretty decent rewards. Um, and then this last chest is a material chest where you can actually get some of the really good uh, top tier artifacts from if you can pull it off. Uh, yeah, so there's that. I don't know how many people, most people who quit, pretty much they're they're done. Like they're not coming back. Um, anyway. So, the last event was just the shop event and the Wishing Fountain event. They're both pretty straightforward events. Um, I only finished for 2200. Like I said, things were crazy. So, I didn't always collect on time. I wasn't a very good person about that. Um, so, I'm probably going to get orbs or scrolls. I don't really know. Uh, we have um, the anniversary event in June and it's coming up really soon and it's supposed to be two-parted um so well usually I guess I should say usually it is two-parted um so if you're wanting to do four rounds on scrolls like you're talking what is it it's like 2,000 scrolls is yeah and then orbs you're talking is it oh my gosh my brain is it 320 i want to say 320 my brain is not working i haven't even had all my coffee right now but i have all of these orbs that i can get here so i think i'm just gonna go full in on buying scrolls this time around um and just just get more scrolls so that's 22 more scrolls right there that i'm gonna have and go ahead and get gold there fine okay so they're bringing back the imp adventure now the little bit of difference with this one from the last one is that last time there was another event running with it i think it was i think it was the easter event that was running with it last time and we could get more dice from that event. So I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to get enough dice to pull off any of the really good rewards like last time. Um, we have the material chest where you can get a skin that you need, which is, you know, nice if you're still needing skins. This is the one I'm most excited about is a six star dummy. Getting a six star dummy and it's just there available. Love that. Um, and then a five star hero selection where, you know, they were gracious enough to actually put all the heroes in here. It's not just the garbage heroes. It's everything. Um, whether or not we can get to that many stars now, I'm not sure, but they kept, uh, the shelter mission where there's, you can get five more dice from the shelter mission and the heroes they put in the shelter are really not that terrible. Um, Zia got reworked. She's still not super great, but she's not like the worst hero you could have. Horus, really good. He can carry you for a majority of the game. Oberon, he's really good if you're mid to mid late. He still has really great control. And then Kathaga, he's now rocking some synergy with some of the dot damage type heroes going on. And then in the light and dark, they actually put Asmodal and Aspen, which I think this is one of the rare times I've actually seen a decent dark or light put in the shelter, especially Aspen. I was very surprised to see him in here. Um, but once again, not only does it cost 2000 gems, but it costs two light or dark heroes. So I would still only do that if like, you really 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 want that aspen and you can't get copies any other way uh but i'll probably 
I mean, I'll have to pull up four stars. I'll probably go ahead and do the shelter again, not just for the gear, but for the dice. And that way, hopefully, I can get further on the end board, and it'll give me um, a better idea of just how far in the star collection you can get in the Imp Adventure um, per time it comes around. I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice and just see what happens, see if I can get lucky at all. We want to land on the mushroom houses like almost as early as possible because then that increases <laughs> that increases the um, number of stars you can get per go around. So the other new thing that they're updated was the Celestial Island. Um, the one thing I was a little sad about was they took away the daffodil shrine, so you can't get more daffodils um, except by just natural recharge. Um, I have completed one uh, adventure run, and I wanted to share what I got from that because we have the adventure now. Um, but first, we have the expedition. They took away a ton of the islands. So it's a lot lower chance of you getting any skin islands. Like even with all the islands unlocked, I very rarely got skin items. Uh, yeah, so, but they also have these new little shrines that you can uh, do. These ones are for um, forest, fortress, and light, which I decided to go ahead and do those because I felt like they covered more bases for the stronger heroes um like unimax garuda and ada people like that i was tempted to go the um abyss shadow dark statues just because of carrie and aspen i'm still using aspen but as far as abyss and shadow there's horus and unless you're rocking like a full-on delasium team there's not much in abyss so I went with the other ones. Um, and we have the cauldron where you could break down things. And um, the big thing is you can get the space gem, which increases your max hero capacity by one, which is almost not needed anymore because of the new fusion. You don't really have that much trouble with space anymore because you don't have to save specific heroes waiting until you happen to get one more copy of them. So in the adventure, uh, here's a screenshot of what I got on my first run. So that's kind of a look at what what um, is probably an average run. <laughs> so during the adventure, I unlocked a few new routes. And I thought I'd go ahead and share them with you guys. Uh, I unlocked the Burial Grounds, which looks like it's another pretty basic run. 5,000 experience, 2,000 little amulets, and it gives an... Um, <coughs> A shadow six star puppet and then the ancient forest I don't know why the forest but the forest gives an abyss six star and then the same 5,000 experience in 2000 but I also got this one over here that's kind of special I guess it's called dragon's abyss and it gives a nine star light hero 21,000 experience and 8,400 of the adventurer's medals, but it takes 50 and a half days. <laughs> so that's the downside. The good news is you can increase your progress by, you know, doing things like rescuing ships you encounter, winning fights you encounter, things like that. But I wanted to show this before I got it started. Also, uh, you have to make sure you go to your captain's cabin down here in the bottom right and spend your tech points before you start adventuring again. Otherwise, you can't upgrade your stuff. Um, I feel like the two main ones that you would want are speed, just so you can complete those quests faster, get more tech points, get more of those medals to level up your statues, or arsenal. Because if you upgrade your arsenal, then... <laughs> you're more likely to win the fights that increase your progress. So for me, this was kind of a toss up. I was like, ooh, 4% attack, 12% HP and 10 speed is actually kind of a nice boost. Um, and being able to win those fights more consistently to get more progress sounds nice. But I think right now I'm gonna play it safe and just go for the overall speed bonus. 
So it looks like it's 8% each time because it's going to go up to 16%. Um, we'll see if that stands. Uh, yeah, so I've got the speed. And I'm going to go ahead and head out for the Dragon's Abyss. Um, and i got to change up my lineup because on my first run through I made the mistake of uh, thinking it was like a three-team arena. And it is not. <laughs> really, you just need one strong team. I don't know why it gives you the option of three teams. I really don't, but it does. So, whatever. Sure. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that. Put that there. I don't... It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, monsters. Let's change this. There we go. Okay, it sh oh, for frick's sake. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, so now we're going to confirm it. Go! During the storm, a chest fell from the sky and smashed through the deck of your ship. Fleet's durability is immediately decreased. That happens to me almost every time I start a run. I either get plundered by invisible forces because I haven't been out adventuring, or a chest falls on me and cracks my ship. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair that because I just, I don't want to get off to a slow start, especially on this, uh, really long quest. Also, um, if you look over here, it talks about your durability. If it's below 90 for every 10 durability your fleet loses, your final rewards are reduced by 5%. And when it gets to 60 or lower, your cruise speed is reduced by 25%. So you don't want your durability to get too low because then you start going slower and you get less stuff. So it just kind of sucks, but it's almost like you're investing gems to get the stuff that your ship is bringing back. So let's do some exploring. Let's see what we can find. Just some items. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rescue this because like I said very long trip so we're already at 47 days now instead of 50 so that's great so let's keep going shipwreck what'd we get some stuff three stars it look like oh look we found a new route great i love finding new routes that makes me excited to see what they're gonna be at the end okay more random items oh okay let's see Server 25, they're, they're ahead of me, and I am not that strong, but we're going to go for it. Worst that happens is I lose some durability. I won! Huzzah! More progress! Oh, another ship. Server 48. Battle! Don't kill me! Ooh, two Garudas. I still won! Cruise progress plus 0.6 eggs and 50 gems. And last explore, we got a shipwreck. What do we got? Orange shards. Great! So we already reduced our 50 days to 46 days, and we're at about 2% progress. So, awesome! This is going to be a long cruise, but... I'm excited to see the rewards at the end and uh, to get that nine star dummy. <laughs> so it's neat that they're adding um, other ways to get those things. Um, and if you can only do the two week cruises, then I mean, it's a maximum of two weeks before you're going to get a six star puppet, which is great. That is what I was hoping they would start doing. I was really hoping they were going to start not only making the exclusive really good orange artifacts become something that normal players can actually get without spending hundreds of dollars because before you literally could not even get them unless you spent a ton of money. And number two, puppets. I wanted them to start giving out six star puppets at a minimum in random events and, and things more often as a normal reward because the number of five stars you have to have just to make one E5 hero is over 300 five stars. So 
It's mind boggling. I mean, I finally have a full five star team and it literally took me two years to get it. So yeah, I have really bad RNG though. So I know there's other people who started playing at about the exact same time as I did and spent the exact same amount as I did. And they finished their five, their E5 team much sooner than I did. But if you're like me and you have bad luck, two years, that's what it took. One team. And now there are things, you know, like the interdimensional that require five teams. And I just don't have the heroes for it. <laughs> but that's okay. Because I always make it work. <laughs> and as long as you pool your resources and focus on doing um, the, you know, the heroes that are most important um, at the time, then, you know, eventually you're going to... You're going to get that team there. You're going to be able to build it up. So just keep plugging away at it. Keep building that team. And with a new fusion system, I see growth becoming much easier. It's still the same amount of heroes to make um, an upgraded, but because of the lack of need for specifics, it makes it 10 times easier. So yeah, T the game is improving. It is getting better slowly but surely giving us six star puppets like that and um giving us opportunities for the artifacts i appreciate so yeah that is this update a little bit longer but i had to catch up for a week sorry about that <laughs> but if you enjoyed make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time see ya